Hello everyone. So today we're going with a vlog style video. Uh, right now, um, I am on my way to meet Quinn at... Um, Turn right to I-820 East. Right now, I'm on my way to um, uh, a British pub to meet up with Quinn. Uh, and we're just going to kind of take the day easy, uh, maybe plan some future episodes. But uh, we're not planning on recording a video today. So, um, just some time to kind of rest, relax, hang out, bond, stuff like that. So we've arrived. Um, it is the middle of summer in Texas, so I have uh, all of these shades on my car. But um, yeah, so we're here. How are you doing? Good. Uh, got the blog rolling. Say hello to everyone. Hey. And uh, we're here. We're going to hang out for a bit. Hey, I'm William Henley. William Quinn here. Hey, and we're coming to let you know that we are rebranding the show. It's going to be uh, Modern Faith Unlimited. You want to tell them uh, why we're rebranding? I uh, just want to get a broader audience, and also we want to probably just so it may be about us more be about the faith instead in general and all it represents mm -hmm. so i think the the brand of modern faith unlimited is going to help us on the long run um it'll be more informational and conversational in the long run too as far as the faith goes so i like the idea uh we're gonna do a show about the uh, name change in a few weeks yeah and um, also to let you know, uh, next week we will be filming with uh, uh, Jolene uh, and her father Larry. And uh, was kind of surprised to find them on the cover of our church magazine this past week. But um, they're really excited about doing the show. And so uh, we got a few more interviews coming up. Uh, we have uh, uh, Katie Kynard, uh lined up. Uh, we're trying to set a date with uh, Evelyn Brooks. A um, couple of others that um, I don't want to talk about yet until I clear it with a few people. Right. Um, you said you had some that you were trying to get on? Trying to get on, yeah. Okay, any names you can uh, mention at this time? Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so yeah, we'll be coming to you soon, and um, uh, that'll be it. Okay, bye-bye. There was William, and uh, we just got um, our Scott Shags uh, as an appetizer, and you know, we'll be coming out shortly. And now we have the... Uh, main meal out. I got the English breakfast and then got the uh, Quintus pastry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this is doing this one-handed. Today's Saturday and I'm trying to work on um, a new uh, animated uh, logo. And if I go down here to my Photoshop file, so this is uh, currently what our logo looks like on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. I'm trying to create a similar um, neon effect in After Effects. And so right now, uh, let's start with this. And let's go ahead and I'm going to change the font. This is the font I'm using. Let me go ahead and change the color. Let's try that out. That's way too big. I'm gonna make this about 250. Okay. Let's see what that looks like here. Got this render. blown out but uh, we'll fix that here in a bit now the uh, hard part is going to be that these are different fonts and they're different thicknesses and stuff like that so we're trying, trying to create something similar and may actually have to use different fonts which I don't want to do I want to try to make this look all uh, uniform mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll see what happens when I um, go back over here into my main composition. I 
Of course, I'm on my laptop. This isn't as fast as my desktop at home. Okay. So let's go up into here. Okay. Change this to about a sixty. See what happens. Well, that's better.